Hello friends, <coughs> uh, this is a video about solving differential equation. I got this uh, question from one of the Australian textbooks. The question is like this, find the constant a and b if y is equal to e to the power 4x times 2x plus 1 is a solution of the differential equation d squared y dx squared minus a times dy by dx plus by is equal to zero. So what they're saying is for this differential equation, this is a solution. So they want us to find the constants a and b. Okay, so we know this is a function. So we start, okay, so if this is a function, y is equal to e to the power of 4x times 2x plus 1, we can find the derivative. So that's what I've done. So uh, let, let me go step by step. So, so dy by dx is, I have used the product rule and the chain rule. I've not written the chain rule yet. Hopefully you know the chain rule. So what's the product rule? If you have two functions, say f and g, and you want to find this if this is f dot g prime is equal to f prime times g plus g prime times f. So what does it mean? So if you've got two functions and if you want to find the derivative of the product of the function, so what we do is you differentiate the first function, which is f, leave the second function as it is, plus differentiate the second function and leave the first function. So you've got two functions here. So we are saying this is our first function. This is your f. And this is your g. OK, so if, we, if you consider these two functions. Now here, of course, this is, again, again, a composite function. You've got e to the power of 4x. You have to diff use chain rule. So in a differentiating this, you have to use the chain rule. So using the chain rule, or differentiating e to the power of 4x, you will differentiate 4x first. So when you differentiate 4x, you get 4, and then the, uh, differentiate the function, which is when you differentiate e to the power of 4x, it is e to the power of 4x. And then the second function is at as it is. Then when you differentiate g, the derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2, times the first function, which is 4x plus 3. Okay. So let me scroll down. So that's the first step. So that is dy by dx. Okay. Now, if you know the first fun uh, derivative, so I've done a little of simplification. So what can we do? We can factor out this 2e to the power of 4x. So this is factored out. So what will what will be from here? You can get a 2. Then you you can write this, and uh, when you factor out this whole thing, you get 1. Okay, so what's the next step? So now expanded this. Uh, this is, sorry, no. What I've done is the next step is I open the bracket. Okay, so when you open the brackets, so mm, so I've kept two e to the power of four x, and then I've expanded. Uh, two times two x is four x, and two times one is two, then plus one. Okay, so let me scroll down. Oops. So the next step is, so this 2 is adds to 3, so that is the simplified form of the derivative. The first derivative is 2e to the power of 4x bracket 4x plus 3. Okay. Once that is done, again we have to find the second derivative. So find the second derivative what we do is again using the product rule and the composite rule so when you differentiate this function you have to use the chain rule first so differentiating 4x will give you 4 and 2 is already there so that differentiates to 8 e to the power of 4x then this is the second function plus when you differentiate this function you get 4 times the first function, which is 2e to the power of 4x. 
So here I have used the product rule and the chain rule. And then I've done a little of simplification. So what I've done is this becomes this, that is 8e to the power of 4x. Okay, so what is happening next? So here again, this can be factored out. 4e to the power, sorry, 8e to the power of 4x can be factored out. So when I factor that out, you can get 4x plus 3 plus 1. So it is 4x plus 4, 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so I factored the 4 out, which gives me 32. So divide by, this is your second derivative. Okay, so let me write, so this is d squared y by dx squared. This is the second derivative. Okay, now, now it is given that this is, uh, this is given, that is the second, uh, the second derivative minus a times the first derivative plus by is equal to zero. So if that is so, we also know this is a first derivative and this is a second derivative. So we're going to substitute these in the form. So when we substitute that, we get this. That is, this is the second derivative minus a times the first derivative plus b times the function, which gives you zero. I can see 4 e to the e to the power of 4x is common, and that is always going to be positive. Okay. And as it is positive, you can divide by divide each of the term by e to the power of 4x. So that gives you twin. Uh, that gives you 24, sorry, 32 times x plus 1 minus 2a times 4x plus 3 plus b times 2x plus 1. Okay, I've done, I opened the bracket, so this is 32x plus 32 minus 8ax minus 6a plus 2bx plus b is equal to 0. Okay, so again the home stretch. So now I have uh, grouped the t terms of x, and that is 32x minus 8x plus 2bx, and this is without x. Okay, so now I can factor out x, that gives me uh, 32, uh, 32 minus 80 plus 2x times this. Now this, from this next step, now if this equation is equal to zero, I can say that this has to be zero and this has to be zero. So if I set that equal to zero, I can say, so I get two simultaneous equation. So that is 32 minus 80 plus 2b is equal to zero and 32 minus 6a plus b is equal to zero. Okay. And uh, you can use a graphic calculator or by elimination, I've done the elimination method. I multiplied the second equation with negative 2. So this plus 2b and negative 2b gets cancelled. So I get 4a minus 32 is equal to 0. So, so a, a is equal to 8. Now, if you put substitute a is equal to 8 in either 1 or 2, equation 1 or 2, we can get b is equal to 16. Now let us check whether... So what we know is now a is 8, b is 16, we know dy by dx, this is the second derivative. Let us check whether what they have given is right. So this is a differential equation. Uh, the second derivative, take away a times the first derivative plus b times the function is equal to 0. So this is the second derivative uh, minus the first derivative is this, so that will give you minus 2 times uh, 8. So this is minus 8 times, so this is your first derivative. This is the first derivative. Mm. Uh, I missed out. I should. I will continue in this next video. Thank you.